if you don't if you back off from center stage. Center stage is like a concept that goes overlooked so often between players of our level. I like the Cavs tag on Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so I was talking to Swedish on um Monday about this. How he wears a tag. Yeah. And his philosophy, he said like literally if they're not bad, they're going to edge guard me anyway, so who cares? <laughs> He's like, he's like, everything that she can do is easily reactable. The fact that I gave him like a millisecond more makes no difference. So he, he, he's racking up damage right now. He knows like, he said he's, he started doing it a bit less when like, cause Shroom told him like, not, like, don't wear a tag. Even though Shroom like, doesn't really care. Shroom just like, doesn't believe wearing a tag as Sheik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, but then, yeah. when Swedish just like, Swedish just doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, he's, I don't, he's I don't still really good. Much to worry about right now. Because the thing is, like, you Maybe. saw you saw Hazard earlier where he was going to, but like, would your edge guard have been any different there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you're edge guarding, if you're edge guarding Sheik correctly, I feel like the tag doesn't make a huge difference unless they're reading that you're gonna screw it up. Only right? difference that it makes is if they're bad and they're slow to react, yeah. or the one scenario where it's like good is if you're on found and they have like low platforms, because you can upbeat like trick them to going yeah, to the platform yeah. as opposed to not, and That's they have true. to like. It changes what punish they do. Like, you can get a slightly worse punish if you had known. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, if you're just doing the normal getup, then the tag should matter. Swoosh is actually kind of bodying, though. Yeah. Just not super surprising, but kind of, kind of surprising. I didn't think it would be this, this one-sided. I didn't think it would be this one-sided, but I definitely thought it was going to be like a two-stack. Yeah. I don't know. Ginger's playing kind of scared, it seems like. Yeah, he's not... He's not playing extra flashy like we're used to seeing. I don't think Fal I don't think Ginger plays flashy to be honest. I just don't think Fal like I don't think Falco's a flashy character though. So like I'm biased. Falco? I don't think I don't think Falco's that flashy. Oh, you man. have to like West Ball's level to do anything that impresses me. I don't know. Watching Ginger versus KJH, it always feels like Ginger's really flashy. But that's like a, that's just a flashy matchup. Yeah, I mean you have to be. Yeah. Especially against someone like KJH, you know, gotta. I mean, like, I know West Ball's against like floaties. He plays like a floaty. And then he actually like looks for the trades. Like he looks to crouch cancel and get trades. Yeah. Because he knows that his punishes are always better than his opponents. Yeah. Oh, that was oh, sick. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yep. Hey, that was good. Like, that's that's chic. Dude, those those edge guys, man. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, did you play slightly better the last stock? But like, like if he had played the way he did the last stock, all four stocks, I think it would be a much closer game. Yeah, he didn't get a lot of chances to combo early on in the game. Ooh. You see, like, Ginger got like th that 40% all off of a crouch cancel, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Very slight. You've, you've seen the crouching bird meme with Mingi, right? I haven't. Ooh, what? very nice shot. Dude, look, look through, all, like, look through the, the group chat. There's a picture of just like a, like a, a crow. It's like crouching is like super <laughs> it's really funny and it's just like put on Mingi. <laughs> That's funny. It's literally a meme. I, I think my favorite quote for Mingi was that like he's like I didn't even try to play that way, but ever since some people like made that meme about me, I started playing like crouching more on purpose just mm -hmm. to like annoy them. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Mingi's good dude. Ooh. I think Falco beat Cheek, yeah. Dude, what? Like, you can't go by West Balls too as like your indicator of how good Falco is. It, it's like going by H box your indicator of how good Puff is. It's just not accurate. Yeah, yeah. I've literally seen like a set where West Balls lost a game against Hugo as Falco. Mm -hmm. When Fox lost, it got destroyed again. Yeah. When Falcon reversed Ryoto. Wow. That doesn't mean Falcon's better against Samus. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these two are the skill gap between them is pretty big. Yeah. I mean, like. The tools that Fox uses against Sheik are similar to the ones that Falco uses. The difference is that it's just so much easier and like more reliable for Fox to combo off of Sheik's mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like when they attack you unsafely with like your crouch canceling. It's just so much easier for Fox to like actually get in and do it because of how fast he is. But Falco can still get so much percent off it. Yeah, agreed. Ooh, really good laser. I don't think Falcon's better versus Samus than Spacey's. <laughs> <laughs> I think Douglas has a problem with Falcon. Some people think that. Doug? Doug has a problem against Falcon, yeah. 
He lost to Gatsu. So like. Oh yeah. I never even got the chance to watch those sets. Well, a lot of them weren't recorded. That one wasn't recorded. Oh okay. Because that was post we got kicked out of the venue. Mm. So. Well, wasn't it uh? Periscoped and no. Uh, what happened was like. Gamera said to leave in like 10 minutes or whatever. He's like, everyone pack up. And so Bader had to like pack up his stuff while they were playing. So we, we don't actually have the um, Gatsu Duck pods. But oh, I, I watched almost. it, and I can say it was not close. <laughs> oh man, Ginger's looking to clutch it out. This yeah. game's looking way better for him. Yeah, see, he's just like playing so much more solid. Yeah. And yeah. playing like, like he's getting so much more off his defensive options. Oh, wow. And then like, Swedish isn't punishing him nearly as hard. Oh, weird situation there. Yeah, he's playing super safe now. You know, he doesn't want to, doesn't want to choke it out. Nice. Okay. nice. Yeah, it's very solid, very safe. Yeah, he just waited for his opening. I don't know. Fa Falcon might be better against Samus. I think Doug's just bad Samus. versus Samus. I or think versus Samus, Samus is. Uh, I think Spacey's beat Samus pretty solidly, but like, it's you have to be really good at it. You know, it takes a lot of hard work. I think it's just because like. Every Samus knows how, like knows how to play against Fox. Yeah, I mean that goes for every character though. I think Samus especially. You know, if you if you go in trying to play against Samus like any other floaty as Fox or Falco, you're gonna get crouch canceled into Oblivion and you just get hit more. Mm. Twitch chat might be right. I actually always trust Twitch. Holy shit! I always trust Twitch chat. I think they're geniuses. <laughs> I always say like the collective intelligence of Twitch chat <laughs> is so freaking high. I, uh, yeah, you know what? That's that's totally true. I can't They're geniuses. <laughs> well, that was a sitcom, but dude. Yeah. I think it looks like Ginger tried to smash, smash DI. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, he definitely, he definitely did the upsell wrong. Yeah. Oh, kind of a weird choice. But I guess he has the, the tag to know where to go. These forward tilts. Nice. How come you think the, the games are going a little differently now? Do you think it's just Ginger playing better, or do you think Swedish kind of let up a little after the first game? I, I think it's mostly Ginger playing better. Yeah. Like, maybe Swedish is playing a bit worse, but it really seems like like Ginger wasn't doing anything good in neutral first game. Mm. Like, Swe like, Swedish would go in that like it wasn't being perfectly safe, and then Ginger wasn't punishing it. So he said it had free room with whatever he wanted to do. Yeah. Whereas in game two, Ginger started actually like crouch canceling, being safer in the shield, like buffering stuff out. I think Ginger is just playing safer. Yeah. And like making fewer mistakes. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that he won game two and then has made this game as close as it is. The Yak. Ooh. Who did I play in? He's got the tag. Nice. Should just hold ledge. Do the normal get up. Standard. I'm trying to think. Oh. What's your tag? The Yak. 17, 15. Cause I, I don't know if you like in tournament or friendlies. I lost a Ferris wheel and someone another Falco in tournament. And then in friendlies I played like a bunch of people. So. Oh, fancy, okay. He's the Falco beat me in winners. I'm still mad about that. He laser camped me so hard, but he also played better than me, so. I also don't play Fox anymore. <laughs> yeah, Swedish seems like he's totally changing up his punish game now. Adding a lot more attack chasing in. What's up, Wrenches? Yeah. Wrenches, I don't think you actually like memes. You are a meme. Wrench? Wrench is so funny. Dude, I li for the longest time, whenever Wrenches would like say something, Minyu would just be like, fuck you, Wrenches, and I have no <laughs> idea why. I love you, Wrenches. Where are you and Aaron today? I haven't, I haven't actually seen them in a while. I think I saw Wrenches like last year when I went to. Also, Wrenches, add me in Overwatch. My tag's in the thread. In the, the Overwatch thread. Just add me. You just <laughs> have to turn everything into Overwatch, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that, the game was actually looking really close for most of it, but then yeah. Swedish, like. The, the top better. player theory didn't kick in. What's the top or player theory? Or is it clutch theory? Clutch theory. Clutch, what's clutch theory? I learned about clutch theory last time I played uh, Magic Cubed on stream, and Duck was commentating because it was that you meme that. Oh yeah, Duck, Duck, Duck has all those theories. Yeah, 
So, actually, I think Abu came up with it. So, so Doug and Abi were commenting, and uh, I took Magic Cube really close game one. And for those of you that don't know, Magic Cube is uh, he's like he's pretty good. For he's the, in chat actually. Oh, is he, he? He was in chat earlier. Okay. Well, he's uh, he's pretty good. And he's, he's ranked three on the University of Michigan PR. Yeah, and I'm not on the on the U of M PR. You anything. will be someday, dude. Maybe once everyone else once once my class graduates, you definitely will. Be. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hope it's sooner than that. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you see your year? Like all the good players will leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I fear the day where I'm the best player in any area. But I'm I'm level up the PR now, dude. I, I beat number six in the PR. I beat oh, number. Probably. I don't know. I'm doing I well. I don't know if I have anyone in the PR. Not like three. I've been Parker, but only in money matches. You see, Magic Cube says hi. Hey, Magic Cube, how are you? So, what's your theory? The clutch theory, keep going. Okay, so, so yeah, so I said him like last stock game one, and like we were like, hey, like he's actually doing pretty well, you know. And then Doug, Doug starts talking about this thing called clutch theory, which is the theory that uh, whenever a player plays someone that's significantly better than him, the player that's better might like kind of go easy game one because he's underestimating his opponent and then it gets kind of close and then game two the better player just kind of like kicks it into gear and like destroys the the other player i agree see i actually i actually thought it was happening to, with me against parker and then he just kept playing like poop the entire set uh, <laughs> and i was like dude, okay it's different when he's tilted though <laughs> yeah dude, parker was mega yeah. tilted yeah dude that, that's i saw you i think Obar was saying that like the biggest strength of my chic is that it tilts everyone Oh, because I just do the dumbest stuff and it works. I think you as a person tilt people. What? <laughs> you as a person tilt people. Oh, I know, dude. My, that's how I beat. How do you think I beat Body Threat as uh, DK? I tilted oh him to God. the next dimension. So, sure enough, I take Magic Cube to 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 a uh, last stock game one, and then the next game, he I take him to Pokemon, and he just destroys me. Like there was no chance. Magic Cube's good against Marth too, though. Like, oh yeah. I know, like, yeah. he's really against Falco, and he's really against Marth, too. But he's better against Fox for some reason. I think. I don't know. Magic he's better than me in all matchups, though, so I, I can't talk. I have not watched him enough. He beat oh, Ginger. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember. Well, that was kind of a special game. Well, so he won one game against Ginger's Marth, and then he won another game against Falco. Yeah. And he proceeded to lose to Iron the next set, so like, take that take that as you will. Okay. Yeah. So also, Reg is what level are you in Overwatch?